Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Stuart McKeith, Mark said, I'm um, Business Unit Director for Collins Aerospace in Kilkeel. Uh, unfortunately, Ross Kane was supposed to be here this morning, and I've had to jump in at the very last minute and take over his presentation, so hopefully I'll be able to do that justice. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, what we do at Collins Aerospace, uh, our journey so far, uh, and then what we, the challenge that they we're facing in terms of attracting, retaining engineering talent in Kilkeel. So Collins Aerospace, uh, it's one of the largest global aerospace manufacturing companies in the world. As you can see some of the stats there, 70,000 employees, over 16,000 engineers, uh, and 300 sites across the world, uh, 23 billion in net sales, and a huge amount of investment in R&D. In Kilkeel, um, we have uh, 750,000 production hours available to us, a 215,000 square foot manufacturing facility. We manufacture vacuum form, thermal, uh, vacuum form, pressure form, and composites. Uh, 15 production lines on a one shift pattern. We only work a one eight hour shift pattern, but we produce 140,000 seat places every year. Uh, 1,000 people, uh, about 600 seat places today. To give that some sort of perspective, that's an aircraft seat being produced every two and a half minutes. We fill three Airbus A320s every single day out of that one facility. So it's a huge amount of volume. Just a range of some of the seats that we produce, so right from the economy class seating through to our premium economy seating, uh, business class, and then the business class suites. Uh, the one you see up in the top corner is the Qatar Q-Suite, which some of you may have seen on the internet. That's all produced in Kilkeel. Um, really what our selling point is that we, we produce really high-end quality product and we're renowned for being able to deliver very complex programs on time. If you look at the last 14, 15 years, um, we have seen a treble I trebled our output in the last 14 to 15 years, but we've reduced our headcount by about 30% in that same level of time. And that's been through our drive for continuous improvement. And that's kept us really competitive, uh, even though we are a remote site, um, a satellite site away from a large American corporation has kept us really competitive. Uh, we continue to reap the rewards of that lean innovation, but in the future we're going to require something more, something different. Uh, and that step change is possible through digital, uh, digital factory initiatives that embrace some of the technologies of Industry 4.0 that we've been hearing about today. Some of the tools that have got us to where we, we are in terms of being a very efficient uh, manufacturing facility, we have an annual policy deployment program that uh, takes all the corporate strategies and flows it down into our organisation, right down to the production shop floor, right down to the production operators, and we review that quarterly. Um, we have very efficient um, uh, oval production lines based around standardised work with where we use uh, elements and sequence, we use control of tag, we use control of uh, standard work in progress, and we have standard management practices that support all of that work and keep it running. Our mantra really is uh, to take a small bite and chew it very fast uh, and keep moving. Uh, it's allowed us to develop outstanding talent internally within Kilkeel and we're renowned not just within our corporation, not just for producing a lot of seats really well, but by, for producing, a quality, uh, producing people and as well as quality leaders that have gone out throughout the wider organisation. So a lot of you will know this, the, the eight pillars of Industry 4.0. Uh, we see this as no silver bullet um, to cure this problem. Our strategy is incremental development across multiple, and those five are the, the five that we are focusing on in Kilkeel. Um, and they're going to, we, what we're using those to move our business forward. All the initiatives are in conjunction to support our lean practices uh, and improvements in the business. It's not a standalone activity, it's ingrained into all the other lean activities and processes that we have, uh, and it's deployed across multiple facets across the business. These are just some of the things that we're doing. Um, we've got 20 separate initiatives happening across the site. Um, some of these are key highlights. We have 
the uh, automated vehicles, AGVs, that help move our product and materials across the facility. Augmented reality that helps uh, operate our training and also inspection of product. Uh, virtual reality for product and process development and collaboration with our US design sites. It brings them closer to us and bridges that gap across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and then our drone technology, uh, which we were in the local press about recently, um, despite trying to keep it under the radar. Uh, it helps us keep the production lines running. If we've got a, a production line that's running at a six-minute tact and we have a problem with a part and we need to get that immediately, we use a drone to take it from our, our storage facility and drop it at the site and we can pick it up quickly. It stops us getting caught up in the traffic. So talent attraction. As we embrace what um, Industry 4.0 has to offer, uh, it requires a different type of experience and skill than traditional manufacturing. Um, we need to attract talent with experience and skills in the tech industries, such as IT and software development. Uh, we also need to recognise the work climate um, expectations are different for those types of people. We require, there's a requirement for a more flexible approach to working with a more progressive and modern environment uh, than the current perception of oil your rags, nuts and bolts and spanners that we have in traditional manufacturing. Uh, we've undertaken a number of initiatives to try and bridge that gap in terms of flexible working, uh, our health and well-being initiatives, uh, business in the community, uh, our intern development programs, our graduate development programs. We sponsor a number of uh, high-profile events, GI Jive and Kill Kiel, and we're the main title sponsor for um, the Festival of Flight in Newcastle, which I'm sure some of you have been to. Um, but how then do we continue to develop those people when we get them on site? If we've got traditional manufacturing uh, on site and we want to bring these new types of uh, experience capability on site, how are we going to keep them engaged? Uh, and how then are we going to ensure that we continue to grow them, keep them hungry, but also develop the mentors and coaches um, that are required to bring them along through their career development? You see at the bottom corner, and Ben talked about it earlier on when he was up here, he's, uh, he, he spent some time down in Kilkeel. This is one of our uh, work experience weeks, it's the corner down the right, uh, the picture down the right hand corner, where we bring in local schools, we bring in a lot of local schools, uh, and we do shop floor tours, and part of my job is to be a part time tour guide and take them around the shop floor and show them all the things that we do. Um, this picture at the, at the bottom is where we bring them in and we uh, run some STEM activities. Uh, teaching them about science and engineering and we use our interns to set up and develop those programs and run those programs uh, and help them engage with the, the children from their local schools. It's been very successful for us. Uh, in terms of uh, talent development then, so if we can't attract them in, we have to develop them internally. And as I spoke about before, we have a really successful intern program, uh, graduate program, but we've also got the apprenticeship program at Kilkeen. And it's been very successful for us. We've got a number of apprenticeships running through our engineering development now. Um, and we're able to give those internal talent the ability to develop the skills and capability in those new and exciting and innovative areas uh, and help develop them and bring them along uh, inside the company. Um, and that gives us the ability to provide some uh, guidance and coaching uh, and mentor them through that, that journey that they go on. And that's it for me. Uh, thank you all for listening and hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you.